other than Lexington, Kentucky. It's the conference opener for both the Gators and the Wildcats. Last year, 53 weeks ago, Kentucky snapped a 31-game losing streak against Florida. Terry Wilson ran for one score in the third quarter and passed a 54-yard touchdown to Lynn Bowden, Jr. The Cats beat Florida 27-16. They did it at the Swamp, and that indeed left a mark. That's Grant McKinnis, Freddie Swain, and Tyree Cleveland are right, back for the Gators. Ninth-ranked Florida 2-0. Kentucky at 2-0. We'll have some fun tonight. I'm a lone setback. Franks, the pitch to the left. Piran will make a couple people miss. Brought to you by Chick-fil-A. Off the play fake. Franks to throw. And overthrew one target, and Trayvon Grimes... Pirine picking and choosing. Cats rush for some pressure. It's caught. All sorts of protection. Now Frank's off his back foot. Towards the end zone. It's intercepted. Tyrell Agent on the return for Kentucky. He's going to get in a situation where he's got time. He's looking around. Okay, extend the play. Now, in this situation right here, you got to be smart, right? Here, here comes the safety. He's going to come over just playing Felipe Franks. And Agent plays out like a punt. Now, that's that's giving up three points, Todd. Obviously, for Franks. Off the quick change. Sawyer Smith wants people to know. He pulled the ball in zone reach tonight. That's Bowden in motion. He's got the football. Lynn Bowden Jr. But an emotional fumble snap. Smith trying to jump on it. That ball is still loose. And Florida says they have it. Let's see. Wow. How did the Gators come away with that one? At the Kentucky 31. P. Ryan. Second and seven. It's P. Ryan to his left. Three receivers to the bottom. And Franks wants to run for it. Squirts through there somehow. Franks to throw for it. And complete to Kyle Pitts. Four. Pitch to Piran. Tap it. Get it away. Franks going to take off. All sorts of trouble. Piran. Has not been able to find any daylight. Second and goal from the 15. Franks to throw for it. Got a man wide open. It's caught. Touchdown. Freddie Swain. 15 yards with the score. And the Gators make it look easy there. You lose some veteran in the secondary in Corker. And right off the bat, Dan Mullen is going to come. And he's going to challenge. It's just a, a, a wheel route here to the outside. You see that the corner goes with him. Nobody goes with Swain to the corner of the end zone. A breakdown in that secondary for Kentucky. Harry had the right attitude. First down of 15. On the ground, A.J. Rose. And after the marker, second and 13. Sawyer pressure, didn't feel it. And he is sacked. And the football comes out. Come on, doctor. What do you got here? Florida just rushing three. Sawyer Smith will loft one and is caught. For the first down. Alex to keep it. Coming through. Back yeah. At Ohio State. Here's third and eight. Sawyer Smith. Some more magic. Josh Ali. Three for three. 38 yards. Don't let the two fumbles fool you. Up high to Ali. Here's Josh Ali. Making people miss. Challenging. Florida. They've completely abandoned the running game. It's Bowden off the pass play. Now they go to the run. The A.J. Rose trying to push the past year. That's Bowden in motion. Don't give it to him. It's Rose instead. The Wildcats run some Wildcat. And Bowden will keep it and try to turn the edge. And David Reese wasn't falling for that. 
Here's some Florida pressure. Smith gets it away. Ahmad Wagner couldn't pull it down. There's a penalty marker. Touchdown. I beg your pardon. Juggle and get caught. Unbelievable. They'll wow. take a closer look. When he was going to the ground. And the ball can move right after touching yes. the ground, but it can't help you make the catch. And I think, you know, based off what they called on the field, you might be right. After further review, the ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. Sparty scores seven at home. That's my takeaway. Saw that, yep. Cross the middle and complete Van Jefferson. Now the pressure. Can't get out of there. Football is loose. And Blue jumps on it. It's Taj Dotson. In this football game. Second down and five. Sawyer Smith. This offensive line has protected him in this game. I'll let you know when Sawyer Smith misses one. And way beyond that. Smoke. Sawyer Smith. Complete. True freshman on the other side. Smith showing the wheels. There's a young freshman out there. Second down and eight. Here's Smoke from the 16. Gators rushing five. There's some green in front of Sawyer if he wants it. And Smith will run for the first down. Smoke got some running room. Come on, CA Smoke. Goal. About six inches out. Here's Smoke trying to pound it in. Didn't get there. Second down and goal. Under center was Smith. Touchdown. Touchdown, Kentucky. Let's take a look at our Corona Premier moment. 53 weeks ago, Kentucky snapped a 31-year losing streak against Florida, led by Terry Wilson, running and passing. Benny Snell, 175 yards. And there's Cash Daniels. Man knows how to celebrate. For you, Luke. But good for you, Audrey. Here are the Gators. That's a great story. New team. Now on defense, trying to protect the lead. It's Pirine. Franks pulls it down. Some late pressure coming. Franks. Improvising and completing all sorts of time. Trayvon Grimes, six minutes to go in the half. Franks to throw out to the right, some blocking in front of Freddie Swain. Be a screen. Some pressure up the middle, trying to set it up. Late pressure comes. Franks takes a hit and completes. Franks looks to keep it. Take it on to people. Pirine. From our Xfinity Skycam. On third and eight. Pirine out of the backfield. Not going to get enough. Not even close. From 27. Look to take advantage of that here in the second half. On first down and 10, A.J. Rose. They are going to have to change offensively, and maybe for the better. Smith looking right and throwing to the right. The performance tonight. On the ground. I mean, if he was confident coming in, based on that first half, off the play fake. He'll take a shot, Justin Rigg. 6-1, 2 -10 from Cleveland. Now reward him with a carry. That's Bowden. Take the flip. There was a targeting call on Sawyer Smith on that last play. They snap it, no buzz down. And on the ground, A.J. Rose. 
Little middle screen to rig. Good protection. Now it runs out. Sort of shoveled it underhand and it's intercepted. Picked off by the Gators. And it's Sean Davis to the 30. And Davis gallops down to the 10. Sawyer Smith ran down the field to stop a touchdown. Ill-advised throw and motion by Smith. And then he recovers. It's a 72-yard return on the interception. Wow. Florida trailing by a touchdown. Felipe Franks, the pump. Gets some pressure. Takes a shot. Setting up Pirine on the screen. With a blocker in front of him. The blocker didn't matter. Wildcats rush four. Pressure. Franks escapes for now. He'll tuck it and run. This is from 32. On the way. And that'll settle things down every September for the yearling sale. When you fly in, it's all horse farms. Mm -hmm. And private airplanes. First down and 10. Here's Cavazier smoke. Farm, so keep an eye on that. Quick throw out to the right. Completes to Bowden. Making some people miss. Second and one. Keep it on the ground. Yeah. And this heralded Florida defense, they got to show up. Smith had a man wide open. First down and 10, just across midfield. Watch for this throw. A little tighter spiral and it's caught. I'm on Wagner. This is similar to the area where Smith threw the interception the last time down the field. Up four, looking for more. Smith lofts one, back shoulder, and it is caught. Touchdown. Keaton Upshaw beats Brad Stewart for the score. It chills. It was so cool. Florida back with it. Frank's throwing. Incomplete. Just get it away in time. Frank's pressure all around him. It's across midfield. Damian Pierce. Until you have five years of clean scans. And we're thinking about third down and two. Franks tucks it, won't get there. Gonna throw for it. Franks from behind, he's bent over backwards by Calvin Taylor. Lucky to hang on to the football. And the Gators turn it over on downs. And Franks is hurt in obvious pain. You could see he got bent over backwards. How he hung on to the football is amazing. Oh boy, yeah, that was that was really ugly the way that he went down. They're looking at his lower extremity, looking at his ankle. You gotta commend him for the effort to try to get that first down. And he put his body in harm's way, fighting and scratching to try to get that. Knew how big of a play that was. And it does not look good for Felipe Franks. You heard the groan in the background. They just showed the play. Yeah, he's on the jumbo pain. scoreboard. Oh, man, they're, get, they're getting the cast out. Yeah, that's. You feel bad for Felipe Franks. No question. As his teammates look on. All right, Matt, these are live pictures now. You ever question how popular Felipe Franks is with his teammates? I mean, that's the entire sideline for Florida on the field to wish their quarterback and leader well. We are not going to show you the replay of what took place. Calvin Taylor, the 6'9", 310-pounder for Kentucky, rolled up upon the ankle of Felipe Franks.
Yeah. And, and let's just say it didn't look good. No, it's it, he dislocated his ankle, right? And like we, we've seen that before with other players, and uh, it, it's such a painful situation for Felipe Franks. Uh, but it looks like his season is over. Good job by this Kentucky crowd. Hated yeah. SEC rival, doing the right thing. And you know, Franks has come under in his Florida career an awful lot of criticism. Yeah. Uh, inconsistency on the field, uh, lots of critics off of it, but again, his teammates, he's so popular, we hear he eats with all defensive guys, you don't hear a lot about the quarterbacks doing that, and so yeah. his teammates love him, they were ready to roll with him, he looked poised for a big season this season. He's an emotional player, he's an emotional kid, and, and these, are, these are college kids, right, they're out there doing their absolute best, and they're fighting, scratching, and clawing, and yeah, they make mistakes. And Felipe Franks has made mistakes on the field and off sure. the field. But you just hate to see that for, for any young player for their season to end like that. For this team to be their leader. In the backfield, Rose was hit once. It was probably for one of his teammates. They went right into the camera. There's Sawyer Smith on the run. His aversions. That's how you win football games. Complete. Lynn Bowden go make a play after the catch. Pitch. Rose turns the corner. Sacks coming in. Tonight they have a hole. One sack on Sawyer Smith. <laughs> Third and one. Great defense. David Reese, so impressive tonight. Fourth quarter, the joint is jumping. Steve Levy, Brian Greasy, Molly McGrath, and Todd McShay. And Mark Stoops, the head coach of Kentucky, is going forward here. I was a little surprised knowing that Florida has a backup quarterback who's going to take his first nap, but I love the aggressiveness here. It's Rose. I don't think he got there. Who else? But David Reese stepped up in the middle. What a ball game David Reese is having for Florida. And they turn it over on downs. This Florida defense needed a captain, a leader to step up and make a play. David Reese made that play. They had to have it. And he's unblocked right here. And he's just going to knife through and get Rose on the ground. Reese, David Reese has 15 tackles. That was probably his easiest one of the night. I mean, nobody blocked him. See how they ease him into the game or take a shot. Quick out, get it to Van Jefferson. And Greece, you referenced that earlier. Second down and two. Throwing and completing sideline to Josh Hammond. Good protection for Trask. And a wide open Van Jefferson with some running room. The first half for targeting. See if Trask can take advantage of that. Another quick throw to Van Jefferson. IRL agent. Has slid over. Agent had the interception earlier in the game. Let's see if Florida can take advantage. Trask throws it up for grabs. From the eight. Trask trying to keep it, then pitches back to Pirine in for the touchdown. DeAndre Square put the hit on Trask. And the very intelligent pitch to Pirine for the score. And don't go anywhere. What a great play design by Dan Mullen. Brad White, defensive coordinator, I guarantee you they did not work the option against this Florida Gator team. And there he is, DeAndre Square makes a good play. If he doesn't tackle the quarterback, he'll walk in. But there were two options on one defender. Trask looking right, throwing, it's deflected and nearly intercepted. Okay. Sawyer Smith. Just got it to Smoke. 21-16 Cats. Still over 12 minutes to play. Here's Smoke. Halftime for Kentucky. 21-16 here in the fourth. Smith. Got a sidearm sling kind of motion there. The Lynn Bowden section contest. Molly's on the committee, right? Quick throw. Out of the end zone. Full interesting final 10 minutes here in Lexington. Trask comes out throwing. On the ground, a Pirine defense that beat Florida in the swamp a season ago. Trask, that ball is tipped. Trask puts some air underneath that one and completes to Freddie Swain. Young man from Detroit. 
Big man from Detroit. B. Trask under pressure throws. Third and 11. Trask quick throw underneath to Van Jefferson. And he is slammed backwards by Jamari Brown. Tommy Townsend is on for Florida. This is the first punt of the night for the Gators with under eight to play in the fourth quarter. And it will take a bounce and stick. Seven and a half to go. On the ground. Yeah, looking to take something off that clock, too. Here's Smoke. Here's the pressure. Smith will take a shot. Air ball. And it is intercepted. Sean Davis. There was nobody home for Kentucky. Maybe Bowden was in the vicinity. And flags fly now. Let's see. Trask looks cool and calm. Put some air underneath that. Trask steps up, but not away from the pressure. And he'll take a big shot. And a flag comes in. Personal foul. Targeting defense. Found a little seam to Kyle Pitts. Trying to rip off his jersey. He's down to the five. Going fast here. First and goal from the six. Pirine inside the five. Trask going to keep it. And the lane opened up wide for him. Untouched. Kyle Trask into the game and into the end zone. And Florida takes the lead. Can't say enough about the backup quarterbacks in this game. Sawyer Smith knew he was going to be called on in this game. Kyle Trask did not. But when the game has been on the line in the tightest situations, he has been up to the task. And now he's going to have one more opportunity here as they go for two to make this a three-point game. Nearly had a pick six or a pick two returned on the last two-point attempt. Here Trask wants to keep it. Will not find the open lane this time. Cash Daniel said we're not falling for that. And so the Wildcats will get the football. Sounds they'd be up three right now. Instead of just one. Here's Sawyer Smith who got off to such a hot start. Ethan Franks. Give him credit. He's played really well. Smoke. Well, pretty much as advertised there. Here's Smith. That played a big role in tonight's game. On the ground, smoke. Blitz comes late. Back shoulder throw. Bowden has the catch. And it's left here in the fourth. On the ground, smoke time. Smith will hand it off to Smoke. On the ground, there's smoke. Florida, Kentucky. Wildcats retook the lead in the third quarter on a 23-yard touchdown. Johnson to Conrad. 43 seconds left in the fourth. Florida took the lead. Freddie Swain on a touchdown catch from Luke Del Rio. And then Kentucky kicker Austin McGinnis from 57 fell short as time expired. Chance poor. For the Kentucky lead. On the way. No! No good! Missed it to the right. Couldn't sneak it inside the upright. 54 seconds left. Florida will get the ball. Now Kentucky has all three timeouts remaining. As you said, they'll be able to stop it on defense. Wow. Just got tight. He got a little tight, didn't let his leg swing free. He was trying to guide it in, Steve, rather than just hitting it and letting it go. He tried to guide it. You can see he short-stepped it. And Florida escapes. 
that he has to hear about it from Marco Wilson and the rest of the Gators. Kentucky will look to run out the rest of this clock. I mean, rather, Kentucky will try to stop the clock with the three timeouts. Here's Piron. They want to get him down to the ground as soon as possible. And stop the clock two more times. Piron right into the pile. Third and six. Kentucky just trying to get the football back. Give it to the first man through. Josh Hammond, sideline, and running away from people. Josh Hammond will not be denied. 76 yards for the touchdown. There are no flags. What a stunning comeback here by Florida tonight. Wow. They're just trying to run out the clock, Dan Mullen is, and they run the end around, and they get a crease, and Hammond, one of the fastest players on this Florida team, puts the nail in the coffin. Thirty-three ticks left. And an interesting extra point, Steve. It's funny you mention that. So a, a one score or one possession game it remains with 33 seconds left. Here we go. Sawyer Smith, what do you got? Smith steps up at five. I think his arm was hit as he throws. It's a jump ball. Smith getting out of there. Underneath. Fourth and four. Smith in the middle. Justin Rigg. There's Sawyer Smith. Throws. Three to snap it. And here we go. Sawyer Smith underneath. Sawyer Smith will have a lane to step into. And lofts one. And it will be intercepted. And that will do it. Kair Elam on the pick. Zeros on the clock. Inexplicably, Florida outscores Kentucky 19 to nothing since Felipe Franks left the game with an injury. And we fear the Franks season could be over. Down to Molly McGrath. Thank you, Steve. Coach. Coach. This night was full of adversity, a fourth quarter deficit. You guys were down. You lost one of your team leaders in Felipe Franks. What did you learn about your team in this one? Well, you know, I mean, we, we talked at halftime. We, things weren't always going our way. We weren't getting off the field on third down on defense. Uh, we made some mistakes, you know, some critical penalties on offense. Uh, but I don't have to. We're going to believe we're going to win this game. The difference between this year and last year. I'm looking at the scoreboard. It's the exact same situation. Exact same situation as last year. We believe we're going to win the game, though, I think, this year. And, uh, and we found the way to make plays to win it there at the end. Offensively, defensively, everybody found a way to make a play to win the game there at the end. Your backup to your right here, Kyle Trask, came in for Felipe Franks. Yep. It was emotional for your team. What kind of composure did you see from your backup quarterback? Well, what we expect from him. You know what I mean? Everyone gets on you. Who's this? Who's that backup? You know, our job is to develop three starters. We have, we have, I think we have three starting quarterbacks in our room. Guys that work and prepare so they're ready to go. Kyle's waiting for his moment. He, we expect him. The team believes him. He's a, we think he's a starter just like uh, Felipe is. Came in here and showed and he played that way. And uh, I know the team, there was never a doubt when he came in that, that, that he could do the job. Uh, and he did. And a heck of a job by him. Really proud of him. I'm happy for him. You don't see this much, huh? No, you it's definitely a, it's a don't. It's tragedy in college football. They don't see guys like him grow, learn, develop, believe in their school. He's a graduate. See everybody transferring here, there, transfer there. Believe in what you do. Your opportunity comes to take advantage of it. You grow, you learn. And now everybody got to see what type of quarterback we knew he was the whole time. All right. Thank you, Coach. Congratulations on the win. I'm going to bring Kyle over here. Kyle, congratulations on the win. Your entire team was very emotional when Felipe went down. What was your mentality when you went in? Uh, it was obviously a really hard time for the team because he's a great leader for us. Um, but at the end of the day, we're, we're still here to win the game. And, you know, like Coach Mullen said, like, he prepares three starters. And it was just next man up mentality to get the job done.
All right, congratulations on the win. Thank you. Steve, back to you. On backup quarterback night here in Lexington, Florida would have you believe that order has been restored in this rivalry. Florida defeats Kentucky 29 21. For producer Josh Hoffman, director Mike Schwab, Brian Greasy, Todd McShay, Molly McGrath. Fortunately, there are no more names to say except mine, Steve Levy. That's it for now. Jason Benetti and Rod Gilmore take it away in Tucson.